can do this freeze effect in CapCut really easy. Open your CapCut and create a new project. Import your video and drag it to the timeline. If you want, you can adjust the clip by going to Adjustment and set the values to your likings. I'll do my clip a little bit darker. Then go to the spot in the clip that you think would be best to freeze it. Right click where your playhead is, go to edit and click freeze. Now duplicate it by pressing Ctrl or Command plus C and Ctrl or Command plus V to paste it. Duplicated picture has to be exactly on top of the one you just copied. With upper one selected, go up to video, cutout and click on auto cutout. Now we can choose which stroke we will use. I will use this first one for this case. You can also set the colors of the stroke, size and opacity. After that we will add text, so go up to text, add text and then you can choose from many different text templates that are already here in CapCut. I will choose this one which is called the moment. You can then type your own text to the upper and bottom text box, resize it, set the angle and drag the text to the spot you like. What you can also do is right click on the text, create a compound clip, go up to effects, find the effect called play pendulum and set the values like you see me doing to get this moving effect. Then I will also tweak our suspect a little bit. Highlight suspect, go up to filters, find filter called 1998 and drag it to our suspect. Set the filters to 40 and texture to 85. Click on your timeline and highlight the suspect one more time. Go up to adjustment and put the brightness to zero so he will pop up even more. Click on a lower freeze frame and pull the brightness all the way down. If you want, you can also put the target behind the suspect. I will leave you a link of the target down in the description. Drag it down to the timeline but make sure you put it under our cutout suspect. Then resize it and place it behind his head. The last and important step is to add a sound effect where our freeze moment begins. So go up to audio, sound effects and find camera shutter sound effect. I found mine and I already imported it. Move the playhead where your freeze frame begins and add the sound effect. If you like, you can also add some music background and congratulations, you're done!